Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. For today's video, we have an in-depth review Wednesday on the newly launched Nykaa All Day Matte Foundation. Now, a lot of you wanted to know my views and reviews on this one. So I thought, you know what, let's test it out and let's test it out in various different ways so that you guys can have every little bit of information that you need if you are planning to pick this one up. Now, I'm not going to make this intro any longer since I have so much to talk about in this video. You might be looking at the timeline and be like, girl, you need to talk less. But I really wanted to go in depth, you know. So without any further ado, if you want to know my views, reviews and everything in between on this foundation, then please keep on watching. Let's start off with the basic things. This foundation retails to rupees 5.99 for 30 ml of product, which is very standard foundation sizing. And it comes in this glass bottle. I really like that because it gives a very luxurious and heavy feel to the overall foundation. It also has a pump up top, which is super convenient as you can easily control the amount of product you want to pump out. Now, there's a lot of information given on the packaging itself. So I really like that as well. Like the manufacturing place, the ingredients and everything. You also have shades in two different places. You get it at the bottom sticker and then there's another sticker right here, which which you do need to peel in order to open the foundation. This foundation is also vegan, cruelty free and paraben free. So that's a lot of freeness going around there. And it does come in 15 shades. I got all 15 shades in PR, but that definitely does not taint my review at all. We would be discussing the shades in a bit. But before that, let's talk about the foundation and the texture overall. I would say the texture is a very medium consistency. It's neither too thin and runny nor it's too thick. It's just somewhere in between. And I really like it. It feels slightly creamier. So it's very comfortable to wear as well and when you talk about the coverage I would say this is a medium buildable coverage you can shear it out if you use a little less product and if you add in moisturizers but if you use it by itself it's a very medium coverage it looks very beautiful on the skin you can see my half and half and see how well it covers up on the skin without looking too artificial or too cakey so I really like the finish on the skin as well I don't know why they've called it all day matte because this does have like a demi matte finish to it which is even better than matte finish I feel demi matte and skin like foundations are what's really in right now so they could have named it a little better for it to be more you know appealing to the makeup consumers right now but that's all right now let's talk about the shades because that's what i feel is something that's been the most hyped thing that it's in 15 shades 15 shades and i know for india 15 shades is like whoa we have everything in the world but talking globally 15 shades is a very may shade range and i do feel like most of these shades lie in the in between spectrum like in the medium spectrum we don't have a lot of shades for people who are fairer or who are darker but you can see that in the swatches so I will be talking you through how the shades are described by Nykaa itself and you can see the swatches on my bare face just to make up a decision for yourself and I will talk about my shade and everything after we are done with the swatches. Now the first four shades belong to the light category starting off with 01 Ivory which is a neutral undertone, 02 Vanilla which is a pink undertone, 03 Cashew which is a yellow undertone 04 Petal with a pink undertone The next four colours are for the medium family starting with 05 Biscuit which is a neutral undertone 06 Beige with a yellow undertone 07 Sand with a neutral undertone and 08 Olive with yellow undertone Continuing with that division theme, we have the next four shades for our tan family, starting off with 09 Nutmeg, which is for neutral undertone, 10 Maple for pink undertone, 11 Mocha for neutral undertone, and 12 Hazelnut with pink undertone. And the last three shades are meant for deeper spectrum, so we have number 13 Honey with yellow undertone, 14 Coffee with yellow undertone, and 15 chestnut with a neutral undertone. Here are all of the shades swatched together on my arm and you can see this huge chunk of medium shades. I feel like there are token nominal shades for lighter and deeper spectrum. This is an improvement from the past, yes, but there is so much room for improvement. Like definitely we could use more shades in the lighter and the deeper spectrum. If you are wondering what shade I am in, I'm in the shade 05 Biscuit. This is described as a medium with neutral undertones and if you are looking for some other shade references currently, I am a MAC NC25 or a Maybelline 128. So if 
if you use either of those two shades then 05 biscuit would suit you perfectly well now let's talk about some other things i tried with this foundation starting with application method so i tried this foundation in three different ways starting off with my fingers so i took a little bit of this foundation and i just patted it on my face and it blended out very well there was no patchiness or no streakiness and the foundation coverage was beautiful too i took about one and a half pumps just to cover up my whole face so that was really great the second way in which i used this foundation was with a sponge again the foundation looked beautiful on the skin with the sponge however i did use two pumps of foundation with sponge because sponge definitely tends to suck a little bit of product up and i did see that with a sponge i got a lot more dewy finish than matte finish and the third way of application that i tried was with a flat top foundation brush and i used about one and a half pumps of foundation with this method and it gave me a lot more coverage and a slightly more demi matte effect than a dewy effect so if you are going to be comparing the three methods you get a very natural finish with your fingers and you require one and a half pump with the sponge you get a dewy effect and you require two pumps and with the foundation brush you get a very demi matte finish with one and a half pumps now because they have named this foundation the all day matte foundation i wanted to see how well that claim holds so i applied my primer then i applied my foundation i did no concealer no powder so there was no setting involved i just did some brows and a little bit of gloss and i kept it like that for a couple of hours to see how well this foundation stays put and after a couple of hours i saw that there was no major creasing happening so that was something i really liked however i don't feel this foundation is matte you can see in these videos that this foundation looks demi matte a little bit more dewy to be very honest with you guys especially after a couple hours of wearing it this does turn a lot more dewy than when we start with it i do really like the long wearing aspect of this foundation but they say it's long wearing and matte and it's meant for normal to combination skin i'm from the dry skin type it doesn't feel matte or heavy on my skin at all so i feel like they really could have amped up those claims and said for all skin types very easily because this feels so lovely on the skin it does not feel greasy does not feel heavy it feels very natural and very nice it feels very lightweight on the skin so i do really like that aspect i feel it's a shame that they don't have enough shades for everyone but i love the formulation and the wear and the feel of this foundation it's supremely lovely i also quickly wanted to check about the oxidization so after i was done wearing the foundation for a couple of hours i applied a little bit of fresh foundation around my jawline and there was very minimal oxidization happening it did not deepen or darken or turn ashy a lot which is something i like generally with all foundations you see a little bit of oxidization happening because it will react with the air you can't stop that reaction but this was very minimal something you can easily manage so you can go into a store apply a little bit of foundation roam around for a few minutes to see how much it oxidizes on you so you can select if you want to go for a shade up or down i also want you to see how this foundation looks after you're done wearing your concealer powder and the other makeup products you might be putting on your face everything sits very beautifully on top this foundation doesn't move from underneath so i really like that aspect and it is pretty long wearing once you really set it down down this stayed on my face very very easily for 6 to 7 hours which is something i really like and it looks very fresh even after that you can see in the clip here i have worn this foundation for more than 5 hours and it's still very fresh looking there is no creasing so of course i would say if you want it to stay all day matte set it down This foundation also photographs really beautifully and has almost no flashback to it so it's great for day or night time especially if you are going to be clicking a lot of selfies out there and now because Nykaa does have some other foundation ranges i thought let's quickly do a comparison in the finishes coverages and everything so that you guys can know how different this is from the previous foundations that Nykaa has launched Skin Genius is first on our list since it was Nykaa's initial foundation launch now when we talk about the texture of this foundation it's slightly on the runny side and the coverage is sheer medium buildable coverage It looks very natural on the skin however it only has 5 shades Next up we have Skin Genius Foundation Stick. Now this one comes in 7 shades and when we talk about the texture of this foundation, it is slightly creamier than the other ones and the coverage on this one is a medium buildable coverage. Skin Shield Foundation was Nykaa's third foundation launch. Now when we talk about the texture of this foundation, I feel it's the thickest amongst them all and has the most amount of coverage in there too. This is great if you are someone who loves full coverage foundation with a matte finish. I have swatched all four foundation for you guys together in their order of their launches so you can see a difference in their finishes and texture. When we talk about Skin Genius both the liquid and stick they have slightly dewy finish and lower coverage. Skin Shield has a fuller coverage and matte finish. 
All day matte is demi matte and a medium buildable coverage. So now that we are done comparing different foundations from Nykaa, let's quickly wrap this review video up by talking about pros and cons in a true SJ style review. I have missed doing pros and cons so much. This is my favorite part in a review video. So let's start off with the pros because I like to start with positive things. The first thing I like is the pricing. It's a very mid budget foundation. However, given the fact it's Nykaa, you can always grab it on discounts. The second thing I like is the packaging. It's very minimal chic. It does not feel cheap and the pump gets brownie points from my side. I love that it's vegan and cruelty free. However, I'm not adding paraben free in there. I do feel it's more of a marketing gimmick since they would have added some other preservative to give it the shelf life that it has. So we're only going to talk about vegan and cruelty free. I love the finish of this foundation. It looks very natural on the skin. The coverage again is something I really like. It's a medium buildable coverage and looks non cakey on the skin. It is truly a long wearing foundation. It does not budge from your skin. It also does not oxidize a lot, which is again a great pointer. Plus it photographs really well so we have eight pros going on there let's move on to the cons now the first con obviously has to be the shade range yes 15 shades is an improvement but i would like to see more inclusivity going on and the second con that i have to talk about is the fact that it's not matte i love the finish but it's not matte it's not what they're claiming it to be i again love 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 the finish it's a beautiful demi matte skin like finish but it's not matte so i feel like we have eight versus two very strong eight and a very strong one the second one is me okay so overall if you can find a shade in this foundation i would highly recommend it to you guys i really ended up liking this one on me but yes that's going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful and if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe because it would mean the absolute world to me i will see you guys next time till then comment below and let me know what other products we should be doing a review wednesday on and i'll see you guys next time till then take care i love you all so much bye mm -hmm.